with Shadda Kaka Funk. What's that? Shadda Long and Homo Depost. Hey, and my boy Hootie right here. Can y'all see Hootie? He right there. Hootie's here got a 20 on. A 20 20. Why? Because he, he acting crazy. He got Black Panther out there in the front of the door right now, watching the door while he ain't staying warm. That's why you should got that 20 on, son. Look, today we we looking at a great base. When it, uh, look, when it first came in uh, a couple years ago, I, I was freaking out on it because I couldn't believe a base that cost that much. It done went up a little bit, but a base that cost that much um, um, would sound that good. When I say that much, I don't mean a lot of money. I mean very little bit of money, but still, yet and still, this jump sound amazing. So this is the TMB, all right? This is the new version of the TMB. And so what's so new about it? Well, the colors come differently. Like this is antique white with the tortoiseshell pit guard. And look, it's got some different stuff on it. When I say different stuff, I mean, like it's now got the um, active passive thing. Like if you put it in passive mode, the um, trouble thing becomes the volume in, in, in bass and trouble. It becomes the, the blend. Not the blend, the bass and trouble thing. It becomes high and low. You, you, you get it. All right, so <laughs> you're like, what? We come what? All right, so anyway, so now it comes with blocks, y'all. Pearl inlay blocks. This is almost like the friend of jazz kind of vibe. Except it's a PJ setup. Oh, let me talk about these two while I'm, while I'm at it. Look, while I'm at it. <laughs> They come with North strands, man. Look, they got Nordies in them. Man, how can you buy a base? I want to say this cheap with such great stuff in it. Who am I talking to? Oh, how can I buy a base that's so cheap with this stuff in it? Oh, I don't know. But this is absolutely beautiful. Look at the, look at the, 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 and, and the, look, the, I can't even hardly say it. Look at the designs and stuff in the wood. Oh my God, this is so pretty. All right, so look. This is a TMB. I think they call this the 500. Uh, TMB 500 1P01 or whatever that means. Anyway, so I'm digging the base. So when it came in, the neck had issues. Um, it had the Robin Hood effect. I, I said Robin Hood effect. Ro I said Robin Hood effect. Okay, you know, it had a bow in it real, real bad. And actually it had, it had the, the Atlantic vibe on it. And what do you mean by Atlantic vibe? It, it was like this. <laughs> the, the Atlantic Ocean vibe. They had that going on. So, so I had to get that out. Um, also, it had a noise in the... the um, what did it have a noise at? Oh, it had a noise in the, in the trouble pot. All right? Well, basically, it had a ground noise. So I had to shield all of that and shield all under the pickups and stuff like that. Who did help me with that, though? He was pretty good doing that stuff. So I, I had to give him props for that. I give you props for that, bruh. That's about it, though. Anyway, she got all, you know, shined up and everything. So let's hear it, man. Because, you know what? I, you know, I hope I hope I don't get over-excitedly. That's not a word. Over-excitedly. hope I don't get over-excitedly playing this bass, man. Because the last time I had one in here, I got, I got overwhelmingly. Boy, you just making up stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I sigh. I'm just making up stuff. All right, so what you got? You got volume, blend, trouble, and then bass. All right, and then you got um, you got your your passive and active mode. All right, so I'm gonna start off in the passive mode. I'm, I'm like, look, when they brought the bass in here in in the, in the Hobo Depot, I was already freaking out. I was like, yeah, and I told I told the customer, I said, you know, I basically want to play this. <laughs> I didn't want to do it in front of them because. They be like, is he gonna is he gonna fix it or he gonna play it? <laughs> Cause I be playing it's not out of it. So anyway, we got the volume on. So we got it on front pickup. All the way up. Now look, I'm coming through my my LA12 with no horn in it. It ain't got no horn. I ain't put one in there. It's sitting on top of the amp. And who act like he don't want to put it in? So I ain't gonna let. I ain't gonna rush. These noises are these noises are clean, bro. Sis, they clean. Let's go to the rear. Yeah, baby. 
Oh yeah. Both pickups. This is nice. Listen, but well, listen at this right here. I like naughty pickups. They have that certain roundness of buttness. I said roundness of buttness. <laughs> Write that word down. Okay, so let's let's see. Right. So it's in passive mode, so that they act the 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 um the trouble um pot acts it acts as a tone control. Check check it out. Good, huh? That's a good. That's a good thing for this bass. All right, so let's go to actor mode. Oh, oh! Let's <laughs> let's just start. Let's just start and just everything off. All right, so let's just dial in trouble at detent. Bass at detent. They just sound amazing! Oh my gosh! All right, let's go to three quarters trouble. Rear. <laughs> Front. Every time I get one of these bases in, I lose my composer. <laughs> I said composer. Man, that bass don't supposed to sound like that, y'all. That bass don't supposed to sound like that. It don't supposed to play like that either. It don't cost much to play like and sound like that. <laughs> Look, to me, it don't cost that much to play like that to play like and sound like that. But it does. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Space is killing, man. Space is killing. Straight up. Good tone. Good texture. Good playability. Um, totally gig gig. Totally gig gig. I said totally gig gig bass. Totally gig gig. Man. You can't go wrong with that, man. It's just I I'm sorry. Shout out to folks. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting that little button on the on the down on the bottom. And um, tell your friends too about me, all right?